Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Now, just before we get started here, my camera is actually balanced on thin ice. So, uh, if anything happens, uh, this might be the last video for a while. I mean, maybe you guys would cheer about that. But uh, it's what I need to make the shot right now. So, what I've got here is a log crossing. Okay, most of my water sets are frozen in right now. Uh, I've got activity. It looks like mink tracks crossing the log um, just back and forth from one side to the other they do cross on the ice itself I have seen tracks up and down the ditch but right here uh, seems to be pretty heavy concentration so I'm gonna put a kind of bear I'm gonna be using a 155 uh, just in case a coon or something bigger decides to come along but what I wanted to show you today is the method I'm gonna attach that I'm gonna be using a kind of bear clip so just to show you what I'm dealing with here a conibear clip uh, grabs on to the front and back uh, jaw of the conibear trap, very similar to the steak stand combos, uh, but this has a spike on the bottom, and that's designed to be driven into wood. So it's a real quick, simple way. Now, uh, you cannot easily uh, raise this trap to a different height. You'd have to actually block up the wood or put a crossing stick. Uh, there's other methods that are similar to this that is adjustable, but in this situation, you know, looking like it's a mink crossing, this is what I'm going to go with. So it's a real simple process. You know, in case we do have a thaw, I'm going to go as low to the water line as I can. Um, my theory is that they're going to continually cross this. Uh, even through the thaw. So I'm going to place it where I want it, dead center middle. Alright, I've got my spring securely mounted right here. Just a few taps and it's set. All right, so the trap is following the angle of the log, which is fine with me. Now out here in the ice, I'm kind of limited to what I can stake through. So I'm going to wire it off to this tree. You know, this is pretty solid. All that's left to do is blend this in. So right now this is sticking out like a sore thumb. I'm going to try to make this look a little bit more natural.
All right, the safeties are off this trap, so I'm just going to clear the uh, mouth of the trap with my tomahawk handle here. I don't want to give them any reason to think about not walking right up to the trap. All right, I'll show you the uh, how the trap's going to look from the animal's point of view. So there's the opening. You know, I see no reason for the animal to make a detour. It should come right through the trap. So always keep your eyes open for natural funnel locations that are ideal for a conibear trap. And it also pays to have multiple methods to stabilize a conibear. Uh, a log crossing like this over the ice is an ideal location for a conibear clip of that style. This has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time.